I'm trying to find a way to introduce this without being abrasive. Hmm. Are you bored of the pile of shit that is Street Fighter V? Want a new fighting game to get your teeth into? Well, I've taken that path already. Going and falling asleep watching the games. And let me tell you, KOF 96 is not a good one to drift off to. After every KO, every KO, the screen does this. Every. Single. One. But luckily, the game doesn't do that anymore. I say luckily because they kept it until like KOF 2002, so that's eight games of seizures. And then we move on to KOF 98, and it welcomes back its incredibly fluid neutral game. It also introduces us to this incredibly obnoxious sounding character called Chris, some kind of descendant of seagulls. But if you can get past that, good game. Also from time to time you'll get these strange diamond mirrors where you just shin kick the other guy. And it just keeps going, this majestic neutral game. Game after game. <laughs> game. Game after game. I don't know, I can't work it out, you know. I can't put my finger on it. It's just so hard to work out what it is. I like about this game. You get two to four rounds of play, and then the last character will just die instantly. Sometimes you'll hear that speed of hops, dash up stops, dash up crouch in shorts makes it a game that throws neutral out of the window. But that's not true. The game accepts all of its elements, it doesn't pretend that jumping is bad. Jumping is as valid as any other approach, and, and that's good. That turns the game from having frustrating elements that you shouldn't be doing and that you should be dealing with 100% of the time to a game that is fun and well designed. I don't know how to make you buy this game or convince you, but if you want a learning experience that isn't too execution heavy, that rewards players who can think, adapt, and outsmart, has a large cast of characters to try out, then I think this might be the fighting game for you.